Right, for Toad, we take this color I mixed up that's a greenish brown. Okay, and we cover essentially the top half of the face. Go ahead and avoid the eye area where the eyes will be. All right, and it really only needs to come down just below the eye on the outside. When you're loading up the sponge, spray the sponge once and rub it on the color. A wet sponge will make thin colored paint and it will run. All right, so make sure you stop in the same place on each side. Come down the nose. Grab this nice toady green color. You want it to be fairly dry as you sponge it on. This is a little too dry. We're going to take the large toad stencil. All right. And sponge some nice green, toady green, across the forehead. And it doesn't need to be perfect. All right. Carefully peel it off. Okay, take the stencil, put it on the side of her face. Okay, and continue the color down, the green color down, below the place where you stopped the background, just a little bit. And then turn your stencil a little, bring the green around, kind of halfway under the eye, like that. So it comes around just a little. All right, do the same thing on the other side. Then, real quick, grab the smaller version of the same stencil and do down her nose. Okay, go all the way to the end, wrap it around a bit. And there you see you got a little bit of texture, but not a whole lot. All right, for Toad's eyes, load up the bamboo smoothie with the yellow intense powder closure, my sweetie. Color in the eyelid, right up to the brow. You'll see that'll give you some nice color, and it is indeed an intense color. Now bring it up above the brow. Toads have nice big eyes. Again, cover the brow bone, and then bring it up above the brow. In just a minute, we'll outline that and give it some nice definition. We're gonna load up the earth tone again. The dark, dark brown. I okay, start at the middle of the eye with a small flat brush. Put the flat part down and come down. And as you come down, turn it up so it comes to a fine point. Okay? Then complete your arc in the same way. Alright, do it again for the other side. Alright, start on the flat, come down, bring your brush to a point. Start on the flat, come down, bring your brush to a point. Alright, and then the last thing for Toad is to give him some nice nostrils. Take your flat, start on the flat, bring it up to the point, and then fill it out a little bit like that. It's kind of a long, tall triangle. And there we have it. There we have Toad.